Did you uh, did you take it personally when Henderson balked and then bolted instead of fighting you? You think it was a reflection on you? When he, uh, no, I think you know for him it was just contract stuff, and um, I was up, you know, I was disappointed, but he's got to do what he's got to do. I think you know he's a smart guy, so. Yeah. Uh, Chael said that he had worked with you maybe five years ago. Do you mm -hmm. have a recollection of that? Is that about the oh, timeline? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think it was about five years ago because, let's see, two thousand. yeah, so right about, uh, probably is in 04, I believe. Uh, it was right at the time I was looking for a, a team to train with because at that time there really wasn't anybody in Denver. Uh, I just started working with my boxing coach, Trevor Whitman, and uh, uh, but other than that, you know, I, you know, I had good boxers to train with. I had jujitsu guys. I had wrestlers to train with, but I didn't have a team of mixed martial art mixed martial artists to train with and uh, so I went up to Team Quest and tried that out and then went down to Albuquerque with uh, Greg and Keith Jardine and uh, Joey Villasenor and uh, made my decision. So what do you remember about training with him? Uh, he's a tough guy. I, I remember he's very strong. He's uh, he's you know solid everywhere. Solid on, on his feet, solid on the ground um, and uh, good wrestling. He uh, he told us that he couldn't take you down. Is he exaggerating? I don't. Probably not. <laughs> I don't really? think so. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, uh, uh, I've always, I would say, probably in the last seven years, I've had really good wrestlers to train with, and you know, high-level guys. And uh, so, I mean, I, it's not that I don't think he can take me down, uh, but it's going to be tough on him if he, if. It, to do it, and even if he takes me down, I believe you know I'm gonna handle my own on the ground and be able to get back up or submit him. So, so what does that do for a fighter when you know that the guy's strong suit? You've heard, you've actually worked with him already, and he may not be able to execute it. So from your standpoint, I mean, it's got to got to make you confident. Yeah, yeah, but at the same time, uh, a fight's different than training. You know, uh, uh, if he's you know. Wrestling is different than, than MMA. You, you can find openings a lot easier in mixed martial arts than you can in wrestling. Uh, he, you know, my, my thinking for him is he's, he has to come up with a game plan to be able to use his wrestling. So even if it's not taking me down, he, my guess is he, could, he might try to pin me up the, uh, against the cage, wear me out. He's going to try to mix it up standing. He's going to try to... Uh, hit me when I think he's going to shoot and, and vice versa. So, uh, you know, I'm, I'm prepared for that. That's, that's, that's what I've game planned against and that's it. So he's also been really outspoken mm -hmm. the last couple of weeks, killing Silva, um, bashing on a lot of, a lot of other fighters. He hasn't done that to you, but mm -hmm. my question on this is that, uh, mm -hmm. do you have like thoughts every once in a while that maybe I need to be a little more talkative that I need to trash talk because it seems to, you know, we see it at 170 with Hardy. Mm -hmm. It seems to benefit guys, and you know, the the nice, quiet, polite guys sometimes might get screwed. Yeah, I think that's true, but I just feel that that that's not what I want to portray to little kids watching. Is that's how to act? You know, I, I think uh, you know I want to display good sportsmanship, and and uh, you know I think uh, sponsors are a lot more willing to sponsor someone like that. Than, than a big loudmouth, and I'm not saying Chael's a loudmouth, but you know other guys that 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 talk crap. You know that I don't think that's uh, something that that sponsors want to you know deal with. And and uh, I think uh, the way I'm doing it is the hard way, but it's the right way, and and uh, I believe I'm good enough to do it. So. What do you make of the fact that he's doing this now? Do you think it's just all about hype for him, or is this kind of yeah. who he is? No, nah, I think it's all about hype. I think he uh, he knows what he's doing. He's trying to hype up himself and hype up this fight. Uh, he's not looking past me. I know that, and uh, and it's just you know two different ways to go at it. I, I I'm trying other things. You know, I got my website going, and uh, I got sponsors that are putting me in magazines and stuff like that. So I think uh, that's just different styles of doing it. Are you worried about Anderson possibly going back up to 205 after his title defense? Because obviously that was an experiment that he wanted to try, and they've been still been talking about it. Are you worried about that at all, or have you been guaranteed that his next fight would be a 185? Talk to UFC about that, but that's definitely something I'm worried about. Uh, I hope he stays at 185, or, or at least 
you know, I, I want to fight the true champion at 185. That's what I want. So. If he started talking about going up, would, you, would, would then you think about calling him out and saying? Oh yeah, I'll call him out regardless, or you know, <laughs> the winner regardless. But but yeah, definitely, I'd be very upset if he did that. Will you do it in the cage after you beat Chael? If you beat Chael after yeah, you win, sure. will you take the mic and say it? Yeah. <laughs> Has GSP coached you on uh, getting down on a knee and begging for the title <laughs> shot? <laughs> might be a good move at this point. Yeah, yeah, I might have to. I've tried everything else. <laughs> do you do you see a scenario where, well, obviously the 205 thing for Silva, where he moves up? Uh, George looks like he's bulking up. Uh huh. Where George is up at 85. Uh huh. Uh, not not at this point. Uh, yeah. George is my teammate, and, and uh, you know, if, if I'm the top contender there, he's not going to move up at that point. Really? Yeah. So he'll do. Uh, Kind of the yeah. cheetah silver thing. Yeah, that's sort of. you know I'm pretty confident that that's the way it would work. Uh, 